Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Oh, and Alex and Wellington's asleep in his basket over there. I have some coffee. I'm drinking Starbucks peppermint mocha. It's my favorite Christmas coffee. Mm. It's chilly today. Um, finally, the temperature around here is cooling off. It's hit uh, 37 when I last checked, so it's chilly. All right, let's get into this haul. It's really not in any particular order. It's kind of a mess, actually. I found Gildan brand, no, Gold Toe brand, navy blue short sleeve t-shirts. I grabbed two. And later today, maybe, or tomorrow, I got to figure out what I'm doing today and tomorrow, I'm going to try bleaching a snowflake on the front of it, like they did at Halloween time, or let it snow. Not sure yet, but I grabbed two, and I figured for me, whether it turns out good or not, I can always wear it as pajamas. And I love navy blue, so there's that. Then I have, oh, I found the, um, this is, I think it's CoverGirl, Maybelline, CoverGirl, this is Full Spectrum Sculpt Expert Versatile Cheek Palette. So it has some highlights, some bronze, and some blush, which I think is fantastic. I don't often find a blush that I like, but I, I don't mind that at all. So there was that, and then the color corrector from CoverGirl. I've seen this hauled a few times. And in case you didn't know, yellow evens discoloration. Green reduces redness, so I use a lot of green. Hi, Alex. Hi, you come say hi. And purple brightens your skin. So that's fantastic for color correcting if you're going to do a full face. Um, yeah, so I grabbed those because I need that. I found, and this is not a Dollar Tree brand, it's Royal Deluxe. These are squishies that you can color your own, and they're scented, it says. Scented like what? I don't know. But you can color them, and then they're those squishy things. And I want, I only got them to show you. I'll give this to someone. But I know the kids are still into squishies, but this one you get to paint yourself. And you can also, if you have like Sharpies, have them go to town with Sharpies because I'm not sure if this isn't going to wash off. But they had all different shapes. I know they have banana, donuts. I got the pineapple. Fun stocking stuffer if you see them at your store. Because we still have time for that. Right? Right. Then I got this. And I got it for next year because I think I have a vision of making a uh, Christmas countdown with it. So I grabbed it just to have because I know they don't typically come out in before Christmas and I'm hoping I can take this back off paint it up decorate it do whatever put it back on and then just do the countdown to Christmas um so I thought that would be fun I'll put this in with my crafting stuff until next year but you can do a countdown to whatever you want um I grabbed some black tempera paint um the laser machine that I did a review on if you want to laser engrave on glass, you need, or anything clear, you need to put some type of paint on it so the, the laser can see it. And then from what I've heard, the tempera paint is the easiest and we're gonna try it. Why not, right? Um, let me just pull all this stuff out of here. And most of it is just fun stuff and restocking so I grabbed two things of fabric paint I don't need it right now oh my allergies guys but it was fantastic to have when I was doing like gingerbread men and stuff and snowflakes and things like that that you want a little dimension and some shine and once I used the one bottle I had I couldn't find anymore this is the first I found since September at my store so I grabbed two of the white because that's what I would use and I'll just put it in with my crafting supplies because I went through a lot of my supplies this year guys um I thought these were fun rainbow stickers um there's a few people on my team and some friends who love rainbows and I thought these were fun and I can share them or use them I don't know 
Um, and pens, because we all know that I love pens, right? I've been on the hunt for pen storage, and I think I have the solution. I'll let you know. But anyway, I found those, which I thought were beautiful. They're just navy blue. I'll probably just put these on my desk to write with at work. And then I found Zebra Brand, which is a name brand, guys. And these are metallics. So you get your purple, your green, your per, uh, pinky, and they like a sea foam and a gold and a silver. And I did buy two. And these are 0.8 millimeters. So they're a little thicker than the sevens, but they are ballpoint. They're a medium ballpoint pen and they are fun. And they do write in these colors. So I got these for my planner. Uh, yeah, I need to take you on a tour once I get my storage and all my planner stuff together. But I was not passing these up because they are name brand and I love this Zebra product. It's a very good product. So if you see them, and these actually write really well too. They're just the fashion pens, but they write well. So I grabbed all that. Ooh, I found for my car. This is Armorall Disinfectant. Three-in-one cleaner. Kills viruses and 99% of germs. But it's Armorall brand, so it's for the inside of your car. Which, the inside of my car needs clean. So I thought this was perfect timing <laughs> for that. It's, I have coffee everywhere, guys. I'm a mess. So, and it's a full bottle. This is 24 fluid ounces, which... I mean, come on. Yes, it's winter, but still, we got to clean and it'll last a long time. So I grabbed it and it was buried, I'll tell you, on the bottom shelf. I'm not sure what the deal was. Dollar Tree. I've got, guys, I got stuff everywhere. Um, I bought tissues. Isn't that exciting? But look how cute they are. More rainbows. I just like the colorfulness of them. You get four packs in here. And each pack has 10 tissues and hot sinuses, allergies all the time. So these actually go in my car and in my, I have one in my car and I put one in my, like one pack at a time. I just keep in my purse. So when I'm out and about, because I've reached that level in life that I keep tissues in my purse. Right, Alex? Right? He said, yes. Here's... He did not like that. Come here if you want to say hi. Come here. Come here. Come here. He said, but you're going to grab me. Ugh, he is so big, guys. He is so big. He weighs 17 pounds at the last time he was at the doctor. What he weighs now. Oh, you say hi, Alex. Yeah. What he weighs now, I have no idea. But he's a big guy. And I've tried reducing his food intake, but then Wellington is only 10 pounds and he's so skinny. It's a challenge in my life. But anyway, so say hi. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. He was done with me manhandling him. But if I'm just sitting there, he's all over me. Tell me about this. I'm trying to get into the bag. Okay. I just found this at the store and I found it intriguing. And I think you can see almost a silver shine to this glass. And it has like what I would call jimmies or like little, looks like jimmies to me. And then on the front, there's a little, and on the back, a little medallion. But I thought this was super fun. Almost like a milk jug shape, but not quite a milk jug shape. Could be painted for sure, but I loved the texture of it and for my mantle in the spring, put some pretty flowers in it or something. So I just grabbed the one, but I it intrigued me when I walked in because it was getting this silver sheen to it. And I will do nothing to this, but put it in my garage, uh, run it through the dishwasher. You know how I feel about that texture. Run it through the dishwasher and then it just goes outside of my garage with all my seasonal items. Got more stuff going on here. Oh, for Sarah and I, I grabbed us. This is Freeman brand. So this is a like a Walmart brand. I know they're more than a dollar there. They usually are. But this is a rose gold. It's a soothing face mask. So I got us hair mask, foot mask, and now I found the face mask that I want for us to do Thursday night. And then I got her a silver one that's for purifying her skin. 
so we can do these. And the only thing I haven't found is the hand masks, but that's okay. I'm trying to do my thumbnail. Gotta get fancy here, guys. So these will go in my bag to take with us to our, um, oh, these only do, I think they only do the top of your face. I'll bring extras in case we need full face. But anyway, I grabbed these for us to do Thursday night when we're at our cabin to relax before the holidays begin. Um, I found, and fun fact, these must have went really fast, but the back, guys, these are the linen placemats. Look at this plaid and navy blue and white. And you know I'm obsessed. And when winter comes, I go back to my blue in my living room. And so I grabbed one, two of these. And I will tell you, I found them at two separate stores. Each door had one. But I have two end tables. And each of these will go on an end table to bring the blue back into my living room. And I'm obsessed with these guys. I'm completely obsessed. Now, I don't need them for my couch because I have pillowcases. But these would make great pillows if you don't. Um, and I love the back. It's just plain navy. If you wanted to go that route, you could just flip it over. Like, that is so pretty. So, I grabbed one of each, or two of them. And like I said, I knew they were going to go fast. So, I just grabbed the single one when I was at one store in hopes that when I went to another store, I would find them. And I did. And then the last store I was in actually had several, but I didn't need any more. Oh, I found, they always come out with these. This is from Crown Jewels brand here in Ohio. And this is just a word search. I think they're totally pretty, but I do enjoy a word search, especially when I'm working at my part, oh, and a doodle page. When I'm working at my part-time job, um, I enjoy having something to do. I'm not allowed to have my phone out. And so usually I do like coloring or in this case, a word search and I'll just sit there at the desk or wherever I'm at and do a word search. So that's for me to have uh, when I go to work at my part-time job. I thought that was fun. Um, in the Christmas room, let me see what I get. A couple things. Let's dig over here and find the Christmas stuff. I think. Okay, more than I thought. I also got these for me, and these are for your neck. Oh, Sarah won't care about that, but I do. Because, you know, wrinkly neck. So I grabbed two of those for me. And these are also Freeman brand, which is great. They had arm, thigh, I think neck is sufficient for me. I won't bring those, but I'll just put them upstairs in my storage area. Um, I also found these, which are hysterical. These are elf shoe covers. Now, I will tell you, they're open in the back. You just have elastic that goes around your calves and the elastic that goes around the bottoms of your feet. But how cute are these? I'm not sure if I will. I mean, I'll take them for Christmas, and we'll see who ends up wearing them. But I thought they were super cute. And for $1, I was kind of hoping they were, like, small enough for, like, table legs or something. Or socks completely like go over your calf and feet but they don't they're like strap on and they're fine so i grab those i'll take them at christmas um for my coffee bar i found did i show you these i feel like i showed these already but maybe i'm crazy oh i might have shown them in a short mess i found straws at one store these are the buffalo check Set, the whole set is buffalo and then these are all metallic red and green and white stripe now i did also find some packs that were it was a half a pack of red and white stripe like barber pole stripe and over here was red with white polka dots and then they had a green and white set with green and white polka dots which i thought was adorable i don't need that many i'm using these for coffee stirrers for the christmas coffee bar that we're setting up so this is plenty um, and actually, if I wanted to, I could cut them in half, but I probably won't. But yeah, so we have these straws. And they're great. You can drink out of them. I just bought them for stirs. So if we have hot chocolate or people have coffee, they can just use a straw to stir up their... Um, sorry, I had a hair. 
they can stir up their hot chocolate or coffee or whatever they're having. Uh, my store finally put these out. I'm like, where, where you been guys? Christmas is like next week. I just think they're behind stock, behind staff. And you know, I, I feel for them. So I'm not being a judgy person, but I'm glad to have found them. And it'll go out next year, but I love these. And I think these are adorable in tiered trays or like on a coffee bar or something like that for sure. So I grabbed this sign and it just says, believe in the magic of Christmas, which is my favorite sign. So this gets put away with my Christmas stuff. Um, I grabbed two of these and these are the big giant gift bags and they're large and they're good quality. Like it's a very thick plastic. And here's a little hack for you. Christmas morning, and when we do our two Christmases, we're using these to collect the gift wrap to throw away for a dollar. And then we can just tie them up and I'll bring them home from the cottage and put them out with my trash. But these are pretty and they don't look bad. Now I figure we can just hang them out there and yeah, have them up. And they will hold plenty of boxes and stuff. So we, I got two. I don't think I'll need two, but we'll see. But that is definitely going to the cottage with us as well. A um, couple other things I found. OMG. Guys, it's Nutella. It is a tiny little miniature Nutella. I bought one because I think it's stinking adorable. I can't even eat it. It's good until July of 2022. And it is a glass jar of Nutella. Like what the heck? I also got Sarah one for her stocking. I'm just keeping this. I think it's cute. That's <laughs> why so I grabbed that. And then they have this, which is Baduco Mini Panettone. And if you're not familiar, these are an Italian sweet bread that are traditional on Christmas. I got one just to cut up on my um, charcuterie board when we have family up. And then my niece ha at her school has a foreign exchange student from Italy who she wanted to get a little something for. So we got her a couple of these just to have as a, like a little reminder of home because I didn't think she needed a big one. And then we're going to get her, she's going to get her a Starbucks gift card. But these are delicious. And if you do get a big one, they make great French toast or bread pudding after the fact. But I just thought this would be cute to put out on a little dessert board when we have our family about. And then the last thing I bought for Christmas, um, I'm sorry, I had to have these. These are the paper bags and they just have the two penguins on them. I'm sorry, what? And you get 10 and they are the paper sacks. And I use these if you're not familiar. I use these for packing my lunch when I go work at my part-time job. But these are also, you can use them to wrap a small gift. Like they're just a small gift bag. And quite frankly, in some cases, this is a better quality. So I grabbed those and then to go with them, I grabbed the snack bags. Um, to have, I'm taking them, I think, to the cabin. I make cookies and treats for take, people to take home. And so I figure they can put them in a bag and take it home with them. Because they probably, most people are, we're gonna have food and presents and maybe I just wanted them to have the opportunity to take some cookies home. So we got little cello bags and little paper bags for that. And whatever's left, I'll just use. It's not a big deal. Okay, we got more stuff here, guys. I think that was it from the holidays. And then, oh wait, one more thing. I, gra I don't even know if these are any good. I don't even know, but Baker's Harvest, Chris, rich and crisp crackers. They look like club crackers to me. And I got them for the charcuterie board. If, ooh, if you've had them, let me know. I don't, I don't, I don't eat crackers. So I've never tried these. I'm gonna open them. Let's just see if they look like a club cracker and if I just broke them all. Yeah. Just looks like a club cracker to me. So we'll put these out on the charcuterie board with the cheeses and meats and stuff for Friday. And I think that's a good idea for the people. Okay. Um, okay, householdy stuff. I grabbed some placards. These are actually my preferred flossers. And I like it that they have a little um, toothpick at the if you can see that little hook at the bottom and then they have and I love these and I keep some in my purse because you never know when you're gonna get something stuck in your teeth 
So just generic, you know, householdy stuff. I found these. They are just the lights, but you see what's in there? Those are clear little paper clip or uh, clothes pins and they're battery operated lights. And I think they are adorable and I would love to hang them up and put some pictures on them somewhere. I don't know, we'll see, but I found those. I picked up these night lights for a reason. So let's open them up. It's for a crafting purpose. Now I have seen folks, um, I don't know if there's like plastic over these or what, we'll have to investigate. But I've seen folks put Cricut on here. My thought was if I could get this off, I don't think I can. I was gonna run it through my laser engraver but I don't know I'll have to play with it and see if I can get it set up flat to run the laser over it without hitting that but I have seen people also decorate these with their Cricut I will tell you it's scratched up just kind of why I was hoping there was a clear plastic protector over it but I don't think there is but it was worth it to just see, and I can decorate it and make something cute, like little night lights, because we all need night lights in our life, right, guys? I mean, I need a night light in my life. I also found one of these. I think these came out last year. The only thing is they're very lightweight. I wish they were a little more heavy at the bottom, but I'm putting this, I think, on my mantle, and I'm going to put a picture, a family picture that we take at Christmas first and foremost and I just want to set this on my mantle so nobody will know it's very lightweight but they came in black and gray this year and I think they're adorable and if it starts to tip I can always take some of that uh, readjustable adhesive and stick it down or like a piece of glue gun or something that'll stick it to my mantle so we got that I only needed one of those um, I found these, which I think are amazing, but I would like to try to do something with it opposed to the butterfly, which I don't have an issue with. The back says, believe in yourself, and it's a beautiful butterfly, but I love shadow boxes to put stuff behind and then on the front to get multiple dimensions. And this lends itself to that because it's cardboard back here. And then there is actual glass. Like This is on glass, so we'll see what happens. I just wanted to have it to play around with. And if I come up with something fantastic, then I will share. Also, same reason I got a four by four. Um, I did wood burn a picture of Luna that I don't know what I'm going to, I may paint this like white to have the wood burning show a little better and give it to Sarah. It was just a practice I was running. So I won't necessarily like gift it to Sarah, but I'm hoping that it fits in this frame, but I'm not sure. So we'll see. If not, again, we'll figure something out. Um, I thought this was something new. All-purpose glue, dries clear, extra strong precision nozzle. I feel like it's something very similar to E6000. It bonds wood, metal, ceramic, porcelain, leather fabric, and most plastic. So I'm always looking for an adhesive like that. I prefer these smaller tubes, uh, just because with the E6000, I make such a mess with that big tube. So I like that these come, um, you know, in little tubes and I don't often use them, but I also got um, Gorilla Glue Glue Sticks. So let's hope that helps. Then I got something interesting. It's Derma Antiperspirant Secret Cooling 48 Hour Invisible Gel Deodorant. And you squeeze it. I don't know what it smells like. It smells like um, like a linen. Ooh, I have it stuck. Let's put it back. It smells like a linen. But I think it will be great when I ride my bike and I get extra stinky. <laughs> but it also is cooling for visibly healthy, smooth skin. So it has aloe vera and it has some other um, ingredients to help smooth your armpits. I don't know, guys. I thought it was new and I wanted to show it to you. But I liked the cooling effect when I'm out riding my bike. 
Gotta have your stink stick when you're exercising. Oops, don't go breaking stuff. Um, I found another book. I'll take it to work. Maybe, I'm not sure when that ends. I'll give it to a neighbor or something, but it's buried beneath us, discovering the ancient cities of the Americas. Anthony Aveni, illustrated by Catherine Roy. I'm not, I mean, I would say eight to 10 year old could read it to themselves or younger if they're interested in archeology. span I just thought this was a fantastic book um, to be read to. And there's lots of, you know, illustrations and it talks about how religion kept cities, keeps cities together. And it kind of just goes into a lot of, um, you know, history of the, of America or the Americas. So I'm assuming it's North and South America, but this book was regularly 1899. It says, you may think you know all of the American cities, but did you know that long before New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, or Boston ever appeared on the map, thousands of years before Europeans first colonized North America, other cities were here? They grew up, flourished, and eventually disappeared in the same places that modern cities like St. Louis and Mexico City would later appear. In the pages of this book, you'll find the astonishing story of how they grew from small settlements to booming city centers and then crumbled into ruins. I think that's very interesting. I'm gonna have to read this before I pass it along. Yeah. I'm reading it. I don't know what age group it's for because like I said before, there needs to be a stamp somewhere that says, this is for kids or this is for adults. All right, Sarah will tell me she knows these things. Okay, here we go. This is the last of what I found, and I showed you one of these things. Um, I picked up a couple of these. It's that time of year where I get the urge to, like, organize my entire life and all my belongings, and so I start buying plastic containers. I mean, let's be truthful. That's what's happening. But I grabbed two of these. They're both three packs. My, uh, the first place I'm attacking is my linen closet in my bathroom that's full of crap. So I got ugh, I'll show you, six of these, which are clear. Guys, these are fantastic. Um, what I love most is their sides are straight, so they don't do that weird angle in and don't hold things and you know, there's so much wasted space. These are straight sided. They are, I think, I'd have to say six or seven inches deep pretty wide and the lids snap on now you know is this sterilite containers no is it rubber made no but will it sort my sort my ugh, suit my purpose in my closet in my bathroom and sorting all my extra toothbrushes and toothpaste and all that yes then so it came in pink this greenish color and gray but watch this they stack upon each other without like, they settle in and they don't slide around. So I can go, I would say too high. Um, I actually got eight, but I gave two to Sarah. Sarah's my niece. So look at that, and they're nice and big. I originally bought them for pen storage, but I don't think it's gonna be effective for that. But it 100% will take care of the stuff in my bathroom closet. And I can also then see in it before I go buying more stuff. So I used to be a couponer before COVID. And I have a lot of back stock on things like toothbrushes, um, stuff like that. Then I was at another store and found this shape. What? Look at this now this shape my friends is perfect for office supply storage pens markers crayons i'm going to use this one for stickers for my planners to stash my stickers in that i utilize same thing same lids same colors i don't i have two for me and two for sarah because that's all i could find um, but these will stack. But you think of the things you could store in here in your craft room, which I also think these would be perfect craft storage. 
<laughs> but I really want to tackle that linen closet. It's been driving me nuts lately. So yeah, I found these and I love them. Um, I will tell you, watch the bottoms. I got in line with four. There were six in the store, so I took four. And two of them had crushed in corners and they were broken. So I put those, I gave those to the cash register lady and went and got the last two. So I did take the four. Um, I know you can order these online. They are a case of 36 in this size. I did not see this size. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist online. I just didn't see it. But I think if you have a classroom or if you homeschool, I don't think it's big enough to hold like coloring books and stuff, but it would certainly hold all of your planner supplies. Fun fact, these do fit in here and these fit this direction, which is originally what I got these for, but then I went to Hobby Lobby and I found something a little different. And I will take you on a tour once I get everything organized of all of my planner stuff. All right, guys, that is everything. So I hope you enjoy and like, subscribe, follow along for some shenanigans in 2022. I'll talk to you later. Bye.